Hey my super awesome people this video is going to be a short one a 2 minute video which is going to solve one of the very important mcq which has a high probability of being asked in your examination that is anomalies of cochlea so anomalies of cochlea is one of the important cause of deafness in children one of the prenatal important cause and it can be divided into different names anomalies of cochlea so it is very confusing in your final exam if they ask you like shebe's dysplasia what is the anomaly alexander dysplasia what is the anomaly michael aplasia binge seben man dysplasia what is the anomaly so this video will be dedicated for your examination how to not to make mistake in them how to memorize them now shebe's dysplasia alexander dysplasia and binge seben man dysplasia all these three are dysplasia involving the membranous part of the labyrinth that means there can be anomaly which involves the membranous labyrinth and there can be anomaly which involves both so in shebe's dysplasia if you see in the name only you will get the thing where the dysplasia is involved so in this only the cochlea and saccule part of the membranous labyrinth is involved so this thing is clear that this shebe's alexander and binge involves only membranous among that shebe's dysplasia has s and c in it that means s for saccule and c for cochlea so in the name itself you will get that that is a dysplasia of cochlea and saccule and bony labyrinth is normal so superior part of membranous labyrinth that is utricle and semicircular canal is normal in shebe's dysplasia but s for saccule and c for cochlea is involved in shebe's dysplasia hence it is also called cochleo saccular dysplasia <clears throat> so they may ask you like what what which of the following is affected in shebe's dysplasia so this type of easy but confusing questions are favorite for your nb now moving to alexander dysplasia so it involves only the basal turn of the membranous cochlea so only high frequency loss is affected now how you are going to remember this alexander dysplasia i have a very interesting mnemonic for it now you remember a song called baby ko bass pasand hai so this baby replace the baby with alexander so alexander is something which makes you remember of alexander the great so just remember like the alexander the great loves the base that means alexander dysplasia is dysplasia of mem basal turn of the membranous cochlea so basal turn base is favorite of alexander that means alexander dysplasia is basal turn of membranous cochlea so alexander ko base pasand hai alexander for basal turn of membranous cochlea so now i think you won't forget in your lifetime because alexander ko base pasand hai yes alexander dysplasia for basal turn of membranous cochlea so only high frequencies are affected and earphones can be used means earphones um, that hearing aids sorry hearing aids can be used for amplification and helping the child with alexander dysplasia now binge seben seben men dysplasia is complete absence of membranous labyrinth now it becomes easy sheeb's dysplasia is cochlea and saccule alexander ko base pasand hai and binge seben men is for complete absence of membranous labyrinth now michael aplasia is something where nothing is present that means michael is totally deaf and nothing can help him out because there is complete absence of both bony and membranous labyrinth so michael is of no use michael kaam se gaya because he doesn't have even a bony and membranous labyrinth so michael ka story khatam hai michael is totally gone because there is complete absence of bony and membranous membranous labyrinth michael is of no use a uh, useless fellow because there is complete absence of bony and membranous labyrinth you can't do much no hearing aid no cochlear implant can be used so michael aplasia is one of the contraindication for doing a cochlear implant now moving to mondenis dysplasia here what happens is there is only basal 
coil of cochlea present that means only cochlea has 1.5 turns so this is just uh, you can say a partially formed cochlea where only basal coil of cochlea is present or cochlea has only 1.5 turns so there is complete absence of spiral lamina also and congenital conditions like Pendret syndrome, Wardenburg, brachio-otorenal, tetracholine and these are associated with this Mondini dysplasia but what you need to remember is Mondini's is 1.5 turns of cochlea and something called enlarged vestibular aqueduct when you will say that when the vestibular aqueduct will be greater than 2 millimeter and can be diagnosed on titivated MRI so then it will be a enlarged vestibular aqueduct and what is the importance of it is perilymphatic gusher that means while you do the cochlear implantation once you enter the do the cochleostomy or enter through the round window there will be coming out of CSF with great force that condition is called CSF gusher so that is due to enlarged or dilated vestibular aqueduct and what is the dimension it is greater than 2 millimeters so dimension is also important so I think you got a easy and important thing to remember from the video thanks do let me know how it helped you this is Dr. Shivam stay happy stay confident and do whatever you want to do